Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Moonraker Brewing Company's video feedback. Let's read the can real quick. And we're done. <laughs> it's a 7% um, IPA. Video feedback. Brewed and canned at Moonraker Brewing Company... Earhart Avenue, Auburn, California. Citra, Azeco, Eldorado, Simcoe in there. Mm, okay. It's a cool name. It reminds me of um, James Bond. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of hippies. Hippies? Why, because yeah. California? No, because, I don't know, like the term, anything with the term mood in it, I automatically think of like mood rings and like star galaxy maps and like, <laughs> truly that's so weird it's a weird i don't even know why i think that way but i do <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy so i feel like this i don't know maybe also the the font that they used looks kind of like extravagant it is hazy it's got this uh kind of light golden color almost like if you took like a like a belgian like strong ale and like hazed it out. That's kind of what this looks like. Yeah, it almost looks like lemonade with like haze in it. <laughs> like it's that color of like lemonade yeah. itself. It's a lemonade beer. I like this uh, video feedback label. It's it trippy. Looks, looks like the Twilight Zone. Like that, the beginning of the yeah. Twilight Zone. The door. Like if you put a camera or a, something like that and photographed another camera photographing something, then you would have that same effect of like that mirror, like boop, 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 boop. It kind of reminds me of, uh, what's that Marvel movie that we just saw where they were um, Doctor Strange? Remember yeah. in that movie where they were, like all the things were shifting around and they were like tick, 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 tick. Okay, smells like deliciousness. It smells like just straight up hop combo right there. Yeah, you get that real punchy kind of crispy hop character from the Citra for sure. Simcoe's playing in the field somewhere there, but I don't know. Yeah, that combination of hops is just really bright, and really, really present, really in your face. Okay, well, let's dive in and see what this lemonade-looking beer tastes like. Wow. That's, like, really, really crispy. It's got that kind of burial taste to it. Yeah. What's that, that thing they do? It's like they, they make light body beers, but they're... Full of flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's quite light in its body. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel like no. you're drinking a yogurt or anything like that. <laughs> Get your vitamins and your alcohol at the same time. Yeah, it's really good. That, that combination of hops, the way they blended these all together, um, it's really interesting. It does have kind of a lemonade -y character to it, though, like a lemony character to it, just because of the way that the body isn't super heavy and the carbonation just kind of holds everything together. On top of it being really bright, I think that like helps a lot. It's definitely a different uh, different tasting IPA than, I, than I'm used to. It's like refreshing, which I really like too. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Mm -mm. It's a nice, it's a nice That's a surprise. nice change, nice change. In a world full of uh, pretty standardized IPAs where everything kind of tastes similar. This is a little bit different, and I appreciate that because we were talking about that in the Snally Gaster review with uh, with Chris when we met up with him. We were, I was like, do you think they have a hazy IPA? And he just laughed because <laughs> he knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, you know, I'm not really super into IPAs these days because they all seem to taste the same. They all use the same ingredients. They all do it the same way, you know, uh, and they're kind of boring to him. And I kind of sort of agreed, but then I referenced Solace when we went there and like they only do IPAs basically. Well, at the time they had like five IPAs that we had and each one of them was completely different. So mm -hmm. it was, that was really interesting to see. No, this is definitely like light enough where you feel like you could totally crush Oh yeah, you. I'm going through it and I'm like, I gotta be careful because I'm trying to eat dinner at some point. The interplay with the, the light and the light body and the lemony character, it's interesting. I dig it. I like it. It's good. We're gonna get some more Moonraker stuff we can find yeah. it. We've been using Tabor to get beers that we can't source locally or through beer trades. And they've been coming through hard for us. So 
hopefully they'll have some more Moonraker stuff uh, at some point soon, and we'll we'll be able to capitalize on that and get some more of their stuff in. Because I'm, you know, if they have other IPAs, I'd be willing to try those too. Yeah. If they had like a like a Pilsner, I wouldn't be super into that. Because if they can do this like that, maybe that Pilsner, you know, would be really good. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to stay notified when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. <laughs>